What's up guys, Glenn with Hustler Hacks. Um, I'm a little sick, but I really wanted to get this video out there. Uh, I get very similar questions in all my videos, which is what app or which app do I use? And I use the Amazon Seller app. So here's what it looks like if you go through your uh, app store on the iPhone and you can see their little example they have here. Look at this dude killing it, 1400 bucks in sales today. What a little example they wanna show you. Um, so. Let's see if you open this app, where does it take you? And it opens up um, this here. So in the very top, view your sales performance, brings up this little graph, and you can see um, what your sales look like for the weeks and for the month total. So it breaks everything down for you. Um, if you press scan, then you can open up the little scanner um, from your camera and you can scan UPCs, whether you're at Target, Walmart, or thrift stores, wherever you're at. So you can see what it's currently selling for. Um, sell a product, you can type in an, an item manually in case the UPC does not come up or show up for some reason. Um, ship orders, you can see the orders that are pending for the day or for the week. Anything Amazon hasn't been able to ship out to your customers yet, you can see it there. Improve my pricing, uh, change prices on your items, reply to messages in case any buyers have any questions, restock low inventory, and manage your FBA shipments. You want to see where they're at, if they went to the distribution center or not, you could see the little updates. But let's see what happens when you press scan. Where does it take you? And it takes you here, you can see on the left side, um, you can use your camera to now scan the little UPC. So tap the barcode to focus and you wanna get a nice, good, clean shot of the UPC so you can see what it's currently selling for. So this is just an example, but let's see a real item. So this item here, NCAA Football 14, um, I got this item for five bucks at a uh, local swap meet, so $5 even. And if you just scan the little UPC uh, right there in the corner, we can we can see the full breakdown of what this game is selling for. So NCAA Football 14 for the Xbox 360. Here's what it brings up. So on the left side, we have the uh, picture of the game, the front cover, new, used, all that stuff. So let's break it down here on the right side, though. So on the top right we have the title of the game and it's ranked 2676 in video games and i believe there's over 250,000 video games on fba right now or in amazon i should say in total so this game has a great ranking and over three well 377 reviews four and a half out of five stars great reviews on the game and before you tell me, oh, well, NCAA 14 isn't worth crap, blah, 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 it's old. Well, I'm showing you right here. It sells for 43 bucks on Amazon FBA. And then Merchant Fulfilled, it sells for $34.59. These are the lowest prices right now currently offered on Amazon. So on FBA, if you have um, the Prime account, then you can get free two-day shipping and then if you're just merchant fulfilled, well, you're just going to buy it from somebody else that's going to um, ship it to you, of course, whenever they want, hopefully soon. But with FBA, it's already with Amazon in their centers, so they will send it to you and you will get it in two days if you are a Prime member. So just one of the many benefits. So if you touch this little arrow, you can see it right here, um, it will bring up the current sellers. So... The ones that we're going to be competing with are the ones that have Prime in there because those are the FBA sellers. The other ones that you have on there are the Merchant Fulfilled. So at 43 bucks, the lowest price right now is from your source for books. I don't know what their name is. And then $44.99, we have Cool Vapes and so on. So you can see right there who is selling it and how much they're selling it for. Um, we're probably just going to match the 43 bucks. We could go 45 bucks, but um, if there's going to be a new NCAA football game coming out, we probably want to get rid of this game. So I don't want to bring the, the price any lower. I want to stick with that profit. I'm going to match the 43 bucks that it's currently selling for. And if you click the next arrow, the one on top of that one, you can see right here. Now we're going to break down um, what the profit looks like. So Here's the price, your price in used, 43 bucks. Fees with FBA, $9.35. 
shipping to Amazon? Well, we don't really know yet because we're going to ship this game with a bunch of other uh, games and other items. But shipping with UPS is very cheap. They give you great deals on Amazon FBA when you want to go and ship uh, a bunch of items to their warehouse. And cost of purchase, we entered it right there, five bucks. That's what I paid. I didn't pay any more. I didn't pay any less. Didn't pay any tax. Five dollars even. So my profit looks like twenty-eight dollars and sixty-five cents. Of course, with shipping, it might be a little bit lower than that once we break everything down. But it's not going to be um, much lower because we're going to have a bunch of stuff in one box. So what other stuff does this app show you? Well, let's say if we wanted to sell something like this Wii Remote, for example, uh, look at that ranking, 787 in video games, which is crazy, great reviews, but it is restricted because I think Amazon is trying to ban um, counterfeit items for some reason. Controllers have been counterfeit like crazy, so um, it's restricted for most sellers. Um, in the, on the right side, I just want to show you this. So socks, for example, it needs to be polybag. You can see I circled it right there in red. It shows you like that little box, which means it needs to be polybag. You can you can touch that little part right there, and then it'll bring like another little side part that tells you polybagged or whatever. Um, but I just want to show you guys this as part of the example and just the different things that it brings up. Um, socks need to be polybag anyway. Anything clothing needs to be polybag. Anything that can get dirty needs to be polybagged, but at least it, br it brings up this little alert, but I think the restricted product one really helps. But back to NCAA Football 14, you can scan another item from this page, you can search another item, type it in manually, you can uh, place this item as one of your favorites since you know it's a profitable item, and you can just straight up list this item while you're still in the store, so a lot of um, things you can do with this app. So here's my information if you want to email me. Of course, my website, hustlerhacks.com, and Instagram, at hustlerhacks, if you want to look at some of my finds and uh, different things that I post daily. But hope this video helps you out if you're just a newbie, um, kind of looking into the reselling game, and kind of want to know what uh, Amazon is all about, how to use the app. It's pretty simple. I like it a lot. Haven't used anything else, and it has done well for me. So hope you guys like this video. My name is Glenn with Hustler Hacks. You already know. Go out and get it.